name is Carrie McCray, and I am running to be your state senator for the Plymouth and Barnstable District because we need a state senator that will be an independent voice for all. And that's why I am humbly asking for your vote on November 8th. Our former Republican state senator, Vinnie DiMacito, was a voice for all, a quality I will emulate. As a lifelong resident of the Plymouth and Barnesville District, I care about our community and promise to work hard to grow the district to its fullest potential. My husband David of 27 years, our four children and five grandchildren live in the Bourne and Falmouth communities and we look forward to raising many more generations here in the years to come. I started my career as a small business owner right here on Cape Cod. After several years of financial, managing financial banking centers, I decided to embark on my journey into education. As a business teacher, having helped thousands of students over the years, I focused on building their confidence, nurturing their leadership skills, and encouraged them to be independent thinkers. As an elected school board member, my goal is to support our students and their families the taxpayers, and our teachers, ensuring we provide the resources necessary for success while keenly focused on fiscal responsibility. Being the daughter of a military veteran and a retired police sergeant, I will actively support our veterans and public servants. I am running for state senate because I'm you, a citizen of this community that is worried about the affordability and sustainability of our great district. Some pressing issues of our district are inflation, housing, and safety and security. We have families struggling to afford everyday expenses, many taking on second and third jobs to simply make ends meet. Many are struggling to find secure homes, affordable housing in this community. Unfortunately, some lifelong residents have been forced to move due to lack of housing options and or expense thousands are leaving the state. Citizens are worried about how they're going to afford to heat their homes this winter and fill their gas tanks. Retirees are carefully planning for difficult choices they may face, such as whether to lower the thermostat or pay for their needed medication. Substance abuse, overdoses, and deaths continue to rise, while especially amongst our youth, and we need to do more. These are the issues being discussed around the kitchen table. As your state senator, I will always be actively listening to your concerns and will work diligently to find and implement creative solutions to these long-standing problems. This is why I'm asking for your vote. So what sets me apart from my opponent? Like most of you, I have to watch every penny. I will debate. I will ask questions. I will not go along to get along. I will advocate to reduce taxes and never vote in favor of a tax increase. I will vote in favor for more transparency on Beacon Hill. I believe parents and guardians should have the final say when it comes to decisions regarding their children. I do not support unconstitutional mandates. I do not support driver's licenses for undocumented immigrants. I will vote the will of the people 100% of the time. I will have the best interests of all the constituents in mind with every decision that I make. This is why I am a better choice to represent you in the Plymouth and Barnstable District. Please cast your vote for me, Carrie McRae, on November 8th. Thank you. Hi. For those viewers who I haven't had the pleasure to speak with, my name is Sue Moran and I'm finishing my first full term in the Senate as your state senator for the Plymouth Barnstable District. Our district stretches from here in Falmouth, across the canal, to Plymouth, and all the way up to Pembroke. And I'm thrilled to be running for re-election in order to build on the incredible foundation that we've built over the past couple of years. I spent 30 years as a community leader at the grassroots level here in Falmouth and in the surrounding area before joining the Senate in 2020. I've served in local government where I volunteered for as many boards, committees, and service organizations as I could fit into a schedule already packed with commitments as an attorney and small business owner and most importantly as a mother of three kids. My passion for service comes first and foremost from my dad. A disabled Air Force veteran and proud union member 
He was constantly fighting for people and causes in our town when I was a kid, and he taught me the value of advocacy at a young age. Two years ago, the opportunity to run for Senate presented itself, and I jumped at the chance because I recognized the potential that this position had to deliver the necessary resources to the communities I'd already been fighting so hard for. These have been a tough couple of years for all of us. In particular, our young families with children in school, our small business owners, our first responders, and all of our incredibly brave and diligent essential workers. My staff and I feel dozens of phone calls from constituents who are in need of help every day. Service is a core responsibility of this job and I take it very seriously. I've spent thousands of hours crisscrossing this district talking to people about the challenges they're facing and building that into practical policies. I hope that you recognize in me someone who has listened to your calls and is going to work tirelessly to get you the resources and relief that you and your neighbors need. With more than one term under my belt, I'm in a better position than ever to leverage my relationships, my leadership positions, and my local expertise to deliver solutions that are custom built for our unique district needs. I'd like to close by telling a quick story about why I do this work and what the role means to me. I remember so clearly the experience of being a kid sitting next to my dad's wheelchair handing out American flags on the 4th of July. What I recognize now is that many of those happy people walking by us had no idea that it was actually my dad who was the founding organizer of the event. The same person who'd raised the funds, organized the coalitions, and made sure it all ran smoothly. When the fireworks were over, we we're always the last ones to leave, cleaning up that last piece of trash. My dad instilled in me the ethics that when it comes to public service, there should be no task too big, no task too small. And that's exactly my approach to this job. Doesn't matter if I'm fighting up on Beacon Hill to deliver millions in investments for our district or sitting one-on-one -on -one with a constituent, helping them work through an unemployment claim. You can bet I'm giving it my all. There's much to do still. Being the state senator for the Plymouth Barnstable District has been the joy and honor of my life, and I plan to earn every vote this November in order to keep fighting for you. If you'd like to get involved with our campaign, please go to www.votemoran.com and reach out to us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kathy Fox Alfano. I'm the Democratic candidate for state rep in 3rd Barnstable. I am not running against Dillon. I'm running to partner with him at the State House. How do I differ from the current state rep? Well, as your state rep, I will first communicate what's happening on Beacon Hill with advertised office hours in each town, probably at our beloved libraries. I will produce quarterly newsletters and local access TV shows to talk about the things that affect our towns and our state. I will collaborate with both our town leadership and with my allies already or soon to be on Beacon Hill. I am a woman of action. I will get things done. And as a member of the majority party, I am far more likely to be successful in bringing funding to our area and to sponsor successful bills that will benefit us all. My first priority is to fight for clean water and our environment. I will collaborate with our state senator, Sue Moran, to stop the radioactive waste being dumped into Cape Cod Bay. It cannot happen. As chair of the Bourne Wastewater Advisory Committee, I know how to advocate for removing nitrogen and other harmful chemicals that are contaminating all our waters, our bays and our ponds. I will protect our drinking water, especially by saying no to the proposed machine gun range at the joint base that sits directly above our sole source aquifer. To make this happen, I will establish a clean water caucus at the State House, bringing together other concerned representatives throughout the state. Together we will work with experts to, to distill the best solutions and then file bills to make them reality. I would work to amend the just passed climate change bill to include clean water incentives. Also usually concerning is climate change and sea rise impacts on the Cape. Again, I'll work with experts to create solutions for multiple challenges. We are far from alone, but we must pay attention and start the process now to mitigate disaster later. As a realtor, I know housing. I intend to work with Mashpee, Falmouth, and Bourne leadership to create workforce and more senior housing. 
A 10-year waiting list is unacceptable. And speaking of seniors, they deserve the best in protections and services, and I'll make sure they get them. As a woman, I will stand up for women's rights, more affordable daycare, for equal pay, for equal work, for programs to mentor our girls, especially our BIPOC females who get the least amount of education and opportunity. I will always work with our Native American neighbors to ensure their rights and cultures are respected and celebrated. I will stand up for medical aid in dying. 14 states have already approved this. It is both complex and simple. Simple because it is the patient making the decision, knowing all along with the, their doctors that the end is nigh, but the pain and suffering is too much. This is not killing grandma. It is grandma making the decision. And if you don't believe in it, fine, don't do it. But don't make others suffer for your ideals. I will promote the blue and green economy to create well-paying jobs in our coastal towns. We should continue to attract innovative companies to our district. However, the power line cannot come into a beach or residential area of Falmouth. I will back the blue by increasing funding for mental health experts to accompany police on pertinent calls. I'll advocate for increasing funding for our public libraries and our schools facilities. As chair of the Bourne Library Trustees, I know how arduous it is to get funding to renov renovate or build. Our libraries and our schools are the gems of our town. They lift us all up and they are vital to our culture. They must be fully funded. I will join with sponsors of gun violence prevention and tighten laws banning semi-automatic and assault weapons. If my priorities are your priorities, please spread the word to your family and friends. Visit my website at kfaforstaterep.com and please vote in this critical election on or before November 8th. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Dave Vieira, State Representative for the 3rd Barnstable District, which includes the towns of Falmouth, Bourne, and Mashpee. And it's that time of year again. It's the opportunity for me to sit down and go out into the community and meet with constituents, talk about the challenges that we face, talk about the successes over the last number of years, and to look ahead. You know, we've been through a long, hard two years. COVID, as you know, shut down everything, including the State House. As a member of the minority leadership, I had the opportunity to be on rotation to cover the rostrum in informal sessions the week of the pandemic shutdowns. Because of my background, as some of you know, I used to serve in emergency management for Barnesville County Sheriff's Office and had worked with FEMA. I took the responsibility of being the minority leader in the Massachusetts House of Representatives during the entire shutdown. Every day I went to Boston, sometimes four days a week, to be able to cover our informal sessions because we didn't have a way to be able to have remote voting. After a few months, we changed the rules, we had remote voting, and then I became a monitor on the other end of remote voting. And so I have not missed a session since March of 2020 in the Massachusetts House of Representatives, and I'm proud of that. The only one of 160 members to be at every single session. So what have we done? Well, we continue to invest in our communities. We have an economic development bill, which is in conference committee, and it did not get done by the end of formal sessions. And I'm upset. I served on a conference committee, and we completed our general obligation bond bill before the deadline. But the economic development bill and the federal ARPA money are still on the table. As your state representative, I want to go back the next term and make sure that all of the investments that we have in infrastructure for clean water, child care, facilities, housing, we are in a housing crisis, as you all know, here on Cape Cod. These investments are so important, and that money is sitting in Boston. That money needs to get out to our communities. As the ranking member of the bonding committee on the House side, I've had the opportunity to just cut the ribbon at the Cape Cod Community College Science Center, having brought a $20 million investment, $25 million investment for that facility, and we are embarking on a $21 million science building at the Massachusetts Maritime Academy. I have a commitment here in this community, I was born and raised in Falmouth. I've lived my entire life on the Upper Cape. And over those years, I've been able to build relationships. Relationships not only with you, my constituents, but relationships with our town governments, our state agencies, and legislators on both sides of the political aisle. And that's what this is all about. Changes come. 
Challenges will change from day to day, year to year, but those relationships and my background and understanding of our community is what I think sets me apart to be an effective legislator. Most recently, the Department of Public Health has asked to shut down the sexual abuse nurse examiner program at Cape Cod and Falmouth hospitals. I've led the fight to make sure that we have enough nurses recruited. And today we are sending a letter to DPH telling them that we have recruited on the Cape and Islands delegation through our work and our relationships with the Nurses Association, 15 additional nurses to be able to continue the in-person program. I'm proud of that. The Massachusetts Nurses Association has also written a letter to DPH saying Representative Vieira led that fight. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege to be your state representative. And in November, I look forward to your vote so that I can continue to represent our community, my community on Beacon Hill. Hi, my name is Rob Galloboys, and I'm a candidate for the Cape and Islands District Attorney's Office. As many of you know, the present administration has been in place for 48 years under two DAs. Our campaign has made its way from Main Street, Buzzards Bay, all the way down to Commercial Street, Provincetown, and has been to the islands approximately 18 times. A consistent theme that we keep hearing is about a disconnect that exists between the District Attorney's Office and us, the people that it serves. An overwhelming majority don't know what the District Attorney's Office does. So to remedy that, we've come up with three specifics. First, on day one of our administration, we're going to create the Community Engagement Officer position. That person's full-time job is going to be exclusively in our neighborhoods every single day to keep a finger on the pulse of what's going on and report directly back to me. That person's not going to have an office. They're going to have a car, a cell phone, and a ferry ticket. Second, we announced several months ago that we would create a community coalition known as the DA and us. The coalition would be comprised of local elected officials like your select board members, your school committee members, local law enforcement, and regular citizens. And there'd be a chapter in every single town and on each island, and we'd hold monthly meetings. And that's gonna be, provide a second avenue for us to remain connected to the people that we serve. And finally, there are 65 employees in the DA's office. Each one of them, including yours truly, will commit to four hours of community service, and that will provide a third layer for us to remain connected to the communities we serve. We will endeavor to launch a mental health session by working with our trial court. and a mental health session, professionals in the field come right into the courtroom and work with the struggling defendant to treat that core issue and therefore reduce recidivism. In a similar vein, we'll seek to launch a veterans court session. Veterans bring their own uniqueness when they get ensnarled in the criminal justice system. We have over 28,000 veterans living in our county. We have a massive pool to ask veterans to come in to volunteer and work with that struggling veteran and again, reduce recidivism. We will target and seek severe penalties for those who prey upon the most vulnerable in our communities and I'm speaking about our children and our seniors. And we will aggressively prosecute the drug dealers who are pushing meth, heroin, and fentanyl into our neighborhoods. On November 8th, after nearly half a century, we have a chance to change the direction of the District Attorney's Office. My name is Rob Galloboys, and I ask for your vote. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dan Higgins, and I'm running for District Attorney for the Cape and Islands District. I want to keep experienced, professional leadership in charge of the District Attorney's Office. I've been a prosecutor here for 13 years. I have led a team of 10 assistant district attorneys across five different courthouses. I have worked in the district courts and in the superior courts. I have prosecuted every type of crime, including murder. I believe in treating people as individuals not policies. There are people who come into our court system out of human frailty as a result of mental health, drug addiction, or youthful indiscretion, and we work with those people to guide them to treatment. However, there is another category of crimes that occur here on the Cape and Islands, crimes of violence and the trafficking of dangerous opiates on our streets. Those crimes need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. 
We present those cases to the grand jury. We prosecute them fully in the superior court, and we seek appropriate penalties, including state prison for those crimes. I have been endorsed by law enforcement organizations across the Cape, by District Attorney Michael O'Keefe, and by Sheriff James Cummings. I want to keep the Cape and Islands safe for my family and yours. I would be honored to be the next District Attorney for the Cape and Islands, and I ask for your vote in the general election. Thank you very much. I'm Donna Buckley, and I'm running to be your next Barnstable County Sheriff. This election will set the direction of our Sheriff's Office for the next six years. Barnstable County needs a Sheriff who will focus on the care and custody of inmates, our Sheriff's true role. I have the experience and qualifications to provide this essential leadership and much needed change of direction to our Sheriff's Office. I live in Falmouth, where I volunteer with the Falmouth Village Association, the Carousel of Light, and Neighborhood Falmouth. I attended Suffolk Law School at night so I could work full time to afford the tuition. I have been a lawyer in Massachusetts for 37 years, working with public sector unions, police officers, firefighters, and public school educators. My experience includes teaching criminal justice and law enforcement at the community college level. For the last four years, I worked as general counsel to the Barnstable County Sheriff's Office and was involved in all aspects of the Sheriff's Office operations. I worked closely with other Sheriff's Offices and with the Mass Sheriff's Association. I loved this job. An important part of this election is understanding the role of the Sheriff in Massachusetts. It's not the stereotype of a guy with a badge and a gun and a horse. And it's different than you may be familiar with from other states. The role of the Sheriff in Massachusetts is the care and custody of inmates by providing correction, rehabilitation, and treatment. The Sheriff's role in public safety is to reduce the revolving door of repeat offenders. No one else in our criminal justice system has this important job. This, this role of the Sheriff is more important than ever in today's world. Across the country, 90% of Americans believe we are in a mental health crisis, and 70% believe the opioid epidemic is a crisis. We see this every day in the criminal justice system. 60 to 80% of inmates in the Barnstable County Jail are struggling with addiction and mental illness. Most inmates at the jail are returned to our communities. They serve no more than two and a half years. I left the job I loved and got into this race because my opponent is proposing six more years of the current model, a model that does not meet the challenges of today. Currently, only 1.7% of the sheriff's budget is used on mental health services. Funds are being diverted to operate an expensive taxpayer-funded boat and to build a regional auxiliary police department. We cannot afford to continue to divert resources from the core mission of the sheriff and waste taxpayer dollars on functions that belong to the Coast Guard, state, and local police. We must give inmates the tools and resources they need to rebuild their lives when they're released. Under my leadership, we will elevate inmate services to an executive level position and focus on pre-release programming. We will bring our medical and mental health services in-house and use data-driven evidence-based treatment and programming to address addiction, mental health, and the unique challenges faced by individual inmates. This is how we cut down on recidivism. We will invite in local AA, NA, and Al-Anon groups, and the local nonprofit clinical and medical organizations so that inmates have a continuum of services when they are released. We will ensure female inmates have equal access to treatment and programming. We will hire qualified professionals, prioritize employee recruitment, retention, and training, and ensure the safety of inmates and staff. And we will end the 287G agreement with ICE. These are not novel ideas. Across the state, most other sheriffs are already doing this work. Most other sheriffs in Massachusetts have qualifications and experience similar to mine. If someone tells you the job of the sheriff is law enforcement, that's just political noise. I want to be the sheriff that brings to Barnstable County a modern, professional sheriff's office designed to meet today's challenges. I ask for your vote on or before November 8th. My name is Tim Whalen, and I am one of the two candidates that will be on your ballot this election season to succeed my good friend, Jim Cummings, who is a Falmouth resident and has served admirably as our Barnstable County Sheriff for these past 24 years. I present myself to you as the only candidate in this race who has frontline experience serving in public safety and law enforcement. 
I've served 21 years with the Massachusetts State Police, achieving the rank of sergeant, and I was a shift commander in both the Bourne Barracks and the South Yarmouth Barracks. We provided services all over Cape Cod and beyond. Prior to that, I spent nearly five years working with the Worcester County Sheriff's Office as a correctional officer. There I reached the rank of lieutenant, I was a shift commander, and I worked in maximum, medium, minimum work release sections, as well as transportation. I present myself to you as well as a candidate who has the backing of the Greater Cape Cod Public Safety Community. I've been endorsed by multiple fire and police unions across Cape Cod to include the Falmouth Police Patrol Federation, the Falmouth Police Lieutenants Union, the Barnstable County Correctional Officers Union, and the Barnstable County Captains Union. I received their strong support because they recognized the importance of Sheriff Cummings being succeeded by someone who knows the role, someone who's done the job, and I understand it at the ground level. I'm the only candidate in this race who has walked the tier in a county facility, a county correctional facility, with only a radio for my own safety. I've stopped cars on Route 6 in the middle of the night with nine, my nearest backup five to ten minutes away, and I've responded to domestic violence incidents and used my own body as a shield to protect the victims until my backup arrived so that I could take the batterer into custody. I understand public safety at the delivery level, and that has been recognized by our great law enforcers and our great public safety community across Cape Cod. But more importantly, I'm a father and I'm a husband. My wife Lisa and I have been married for 32 years, and we are blessed with two beautiful daughters, Maggie and Katie, who make us proud every single day. We've raised our family in our beautiful Cape Cod community, and I understand the need that we keep our communities safe. I can guarantee you that I will work hard every day to keep you and your families safe. On a very personal level, I understand the need that we provide the very best in substance use disorder and mental health services to the incarcerated population at the Barnstable County Correctional Facility. I'm the adult child of alcoholic parents. My parents were two wonderful, wonderful people, but they battled their own addiction to alcohol. And that affected me on a very personal level when I was a child. I saw my own parents fight through this and find their own recovery. So I understand that substance use disorder I understand it on a very personal level. And I understand that redemption and recovery lies within. And we will use every resource under my leadership, we will use every resource that our Sheriff's Office can provide to help the incarcerated population find their recovery. I ask for your vote on November 8th. I ask for your support. And I look forward to serving you in 2023 and the years going forward as your next Barnstable County Sheriff. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Barnstable County Commissioner Ron Bergstrom. I'm running for another term as Barnstable County Commissioner to build on the work I have already done, making our regional government a force for improving the well-being of all Cape Codders. I want the county to continue providing efficient, cost-effective regional services that save our town's money, limiting the tax burden on our residents. I want to continue the spirit of nonpartisanship that Cape Codders expect from their public officials, bringing together all segments of our population to meet the challenges we face going forward. Lack of affordable housing, threats to our water quality, sea level rise threatening our shoreline, and inappropriate development at odds with the Cape's rural character. I'm fortunate to have landed here almost a century ago, and I'm asking voters to extend to me the privilege of continuing the work of keeping Cape Cod the welcoming and attractive place that we all appreciate. <clears throat> the most pressing issue Barnstable County is facing is the overall threat to the quality of the Cape's environment. Wastewater management is at the forefront of the challenges due to increased density affecting our saltwater estuaries and freshwater ponds and lakes. As someone who has made his living around the shore, I am determined to have county government take a leadership role in protecting our waters from chemical pollution and nutrient overloading. In my role as both county commissioner and as a member of the Cape Cod Commission, I will oversee the progress of our two and a half million dollar initiative to monitor the health of the Cape's freshwater bodies 
and support the continued distribution of federal ARPA funds to local and regional wastewater mitigation projects. Unlike my opponent, I am not looking for a platform to expound on hot-button national issues that divide people. I'm not seeking a soapbox or a megaphone. Although I certainly have strong opinions on the issues facing our county as county commissioner, I have a focus on bringing together our town governments, civic organizations, and nonprofits to find local solution to local problems. My long and ex varied experience in municipal government has taught me not just what must be done, but how to get it done. And that calls for collaboration with and respect for all, participation, all participants in our society, here on Cape Cod, as well as a nation. I am running for the position of Barnstable County Commissioner to do the job of Barnstable County Commissioner, a role that includes paying attention to the details as well as setting overall policy. Financial oversight is a primary responsibility and I can say with pride that despite changes, charges to the contrary, the county has been fiscally conservative with public funds and has ended each budget cycle in the black without even a hint of raising the deeds tax or the town's assessment. My role also includes oversight of county administration and our staff of full and part-time employees, as well as our hundreds of volunteers. They work tirelessly for all of us, and they deserve our support and respect. My approach to local issues is founded in the belief that we are all fortunate to live on this peninsula, and that, that will always be my guiding principle. At the same time, we should recognize that there are some among us that need assistance just to meet their daily needs. County government has an important role in addressing chronic issues such as homelessness, substance abuse, and mental health. So if elected to another term as county commissioner, I will both work to preserve the heritage passed down to us and also help all of our residents share in the enjoyment of living on Cape Cod. And once again, I'm Ron Bergstrom. I'm asking for your vote to send me back for another four years as your Barnstable County Commissioner. Thank you.